What's up my parrot pals and welcome to another video with the parrot tamer. In this video we're going to be talking about the importance of having your bird on a pelleted diet rather than a seeded diet. Then we're going to be talking about how you can get your bird to eat pellets and other new foods as well. Hi guys, my name is Tristan but I go by the parrot tamer. If you need help taming your bird, maybe help training it to do a new trick, or maybe you're interested in weekly tips on how to keep your bird happy and healthy. If you are interested in that, please consider subscribing. So why should you switch your bird to pellets? Well, if you love your bird or birds as much as I love mine, then you want your bird to live a long, happy, healthy life. Seeds do not have the proper vitamins and minerals and nutrients that your bird needs to live that long, happy, healthy life. And pellets do. So I'm going to show you guys a picture on the screen of a bird that's on a seeded diet and then a picture of a bird that's on a pelleted diet just so you can see how much of a difference they make even in appearance. So as you can see, the bird on the pelleted diet looks a lot healthier. But that's not the only benefit. Pellets are a lot less messy, and I'll tell you, it's really nice to not have to vacuum up seed every week. So for your bird's daily diet in general, pellets should take up 60%, fruits and vegetables should take up 30%, and seeds and other treats should take up 10%. I give my bird Zupreme pellets. These pellets are great for a few reasons. One, because they give you the option of giving your bird the colored kind and the natural colored kind. And different birds will like different kinds of pellets. So it's really nice that they give you two different kinds of options. I actually give my bird half and half because that's what she likes. She really loves both of them. My bird requires a tablespoon of pellets, so I give half a tablespoon of colored and half a tablespoon of natural colored. So if you guys would like to get some colored and natural colored pellets for your bird, I left a link for you guys in the description so you can do that. And I left a link to pellets for small birds, medium sized birds, and large birds. So I'm going to give you guys three methods on how to convert your bird to pellets and I'm going to give you two methods on how to convince your bird to eat fruits and vegetables because I had a comment the other day asking me how they can convince their bird to eat fruits and vegetables. So most likely your bird likes the taste of pellets. It just doesn't realize that it is food. So for the first method in converting your bird to pellets, what you need is a bowl, um, however many pellets your bird needs and the seeded diet that your bird is already on. You're gonna, also going to need half the amount of water as pellets and seed. So what I do for in my case is I get half colored pellets poured in the bowl and half natural colored pellets poured in the bowl. I get a tablespoon of seeds and I put it in the same bowl. Then you get some water and you put half a tablespoon of water but it might be different for every size of bird so on the Zupreme bags it will tell you how many pellets your bird should be eating every day you're gonna go off of that then you're going to mix it all together so that way the seeds are sticking to the wet pellets and that way when your bird goes to pick out the seeds it has no other choice but to taste the pellets and that means that if it likes the taste of the pellet, it's gonna start eating the pellet. Then you can gradually, every day, start decreasing the amount of seed you put into the mixture until it's just wet pellets. And then you can start decreasing the amount of water you add so that way it's just eating hard pellets. So for the second method, it's more for birds that have a really strong bond with their owner. So basically what you're gonna do is you're going to get something like this. You're going to put some pellets on it and when your bird is out and it's training time, what you're going to do is you're going to start picking at the pellets. Because if you have a strong bond with your bird, your bird is going to be interested in anything that you're interested in. So that means if you're picking up the pellets and breaking them with your fingers and stuff like that, they might pick it up and try to eat one. And then you can just do that every day 
and then you can start decreasing the amount of seed you're giving your bird every day and you can start putting it in its food bowl and eventually it will just start eating it. So if neither of those methods work for your bird, what you can start to do is you can start giving your bird seed for 12 hours of the day and then giving it pellets for the other 12 hours of the day. And eventually your bird will get hungry enough to where it starts eating the pellet. As the days go on, you can start to give the bird seed for nine hours and then pellets for 15 hours and so on and so forth. So method one for convincing your bird to eat fruits and veggies is kind of like the methods in converting your bird to pellets. It's you should have a really strong bond with your bird for this method. So what you're gonna do is when you have it out of its cage during training time, you're gonna get the fruits and vegetables and you're gonna start eating them in front of your bird. But please, please, before you offer your bird fruits and vegetables, <laughs> please make sure they're safe. I don't want you to kill your bird. And I'll tell you guys right now, please don't give your bird avocado. Please, please, please don't give your bird avocado. If your bird eats a pinch of avocado, it will die within 18 hours. I hate to tell you that, but please just avoid avocado at all. But moving on, what you're gonna do is after you've eaten fruits and vegetables in front of your bird, you're going to offer it to the bird, and if the bird likes it, it will eat it. But you're gonna have to try different fruits and vegetables. Once again, your bird is gonna be interested and want to eat anything you're trying to eat. So please don't eat avocados in front of your bird, but you can try that with safe fruits and vegetables. Eat them in front of your bird and then offer them to your bird and see if your bird likes them. Um, if eating fruits and vegetables in front of your bird does not work and does not get your bird to start eating them, what you can do is you can get a toy like this that has a clip at the bottom. These are great because if you have a bird that is not a social and it likes to be in its cage and play with its toys and stuff like that, then this is great because you can clip certain fruits and vegetables at the bottom of this and since it's on the toy, the bird might try picking at it or something like that and it might like the taste of the fruits and vegetables. But once again, you can try different fruits and vegetables and see which ones your birds like. And yeah, this is a great little tool to have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. And if it did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, I have a Patreon now. So if you need some one-on-one -on -one advice from the Parrot Tamer, or if you want to see some secret parrot taming videos, go to the link in the description or go to www.patreon.com slash the Parrot Tamer and become one of my patrons. Also, if you would like to purchase some of my favorite kind of spray millet, go to the link in the description and check it out for yourself and as always i will see you guys on the next one